Thanks for watching Smart Fox TV. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching Smart Fox TV. For the month of May, we have been celebrating our American citizens who provide us the additional culture of our Asian and Pacific Islander heritage. Today's segment, we will celebrate Muna Sang, a dancer, choreographer, performer, and Muna Sang was born in Hong Kong, but she was educated in Canada and since 1978 became a New York-based dancer and choreographer. In 1988, she founded the Muna Sang Dance Project in New York City. She has collaborated with contemporary artists in New York and on tours worldwide. On May 27th, at the Singapore International Festival of Arts, or SIFA, Muna will celebrate. This celebration will be at the Victoria Theater in Singapore. The self-portrait in movement, video, and words, a performative archive. The artist Muna Sang searches for herself across over four decades of an illustrious career in New York City and having worked at the fluid intersections of contemporary dance, visual design, and new music in avant-garde theater. It will start with her being a young artist weaving her web of identity within the urban mythology of downtown New York City. And it is the fourth installment of Muna's family portrait series comprising the fourth and new portrait is Muna telling her own story in the 70th year of her life. Muna grew up in Hong Kong and learned Chinese folk dance as a child. After her family immigrated to Vancouver, Canada, she discovered modern dance. She saw performances by dancers Heather McCollum. It contained such beauty and exquisiteness that that's what caused her to immediately want to be a part of the dance world. It helped her to deal with trauma of being transplanted from one culture to another. She started at age 13 when she began a rigorous modern dance training in Vancouver. She attended classes three times weekly in the basement studio. They developed physical technique as well as encouraged her to have her own vision as an artist. She gave her first choreographed concert with original music and set design at the Vancouver Art Gallery at 18 years old. She choreographed, designed, and danced. It was her first professional debut. Six years later, she saved her money and moved to New York to pursue her dream and join the Theater of the Open Eye. She became a principal dancer from 1978 to 1985. She founded her own company in 1986, Muna Sang Dance Projects. It has been said that Muna is a choreographer acclaimed for her seamless fusion of Asian aesthetics with Western cross-performance ideas and a dancer celebrated for her eloquence and passionate precision. She has found that the whole journey of the artist is when you are able to have a global vision. She is currently a faculty at New York University. Her late brother, Kwang Chi, came to New York the same year. She hopes that her audiences will leave the performance feeling how rich their life has been, to look back at memories and stories and family, and appreciate the grace that they have lived with and also the power of art to bring that awareness. Hope you were inspired by Muna Sang and continue to inspire yourself to be the best version you can be. This is Kim. Hi, this is Sally. Hello, this is Tracy. This is Shane. And thanks for watching. Smart Fox TV. Stay, Stay foxy. foxy.